Okay, so I wanted to film a quick video. Um, I've got a new MacBook Pro uh, with the touch bar and all that stuff. Um, I don't know the exact like model year and all that stuff, but I just bought it a few months ago. Uh, it's about as high end of a MacBook Pro as you can get. It's like the 15 inch. It powers, you know, four more screens or two to 5K screens or whatever. Um, but I was having this issue where when I'm typing with my right hand, I always hit my thumb right here on the space bar. And uh, it started to jam up. And basically it would stay compressed down. Uh, the left side of the space bar worked fine. The middle worked perfectly fine. And then even the bottom right would work if I like slid my thumb down to type. But naturally my thumb hits here. And you know, this is fully loaded uh, MacBook Pro. So um, I, like I, I, I think I added pretty much every option except for maybe one or two things. So it was like around $4,000 and I've only had it a few months. No spills, nothing on the keyboard. Anyways, I started to pull up on the space bar key here and it immediate, and like I was literally just pulling with my fingernail, not a lot of pressure. Um, and it started to buckle the plastic, as you can probably see there, and crack it on the top. So I kind of immediately stopped there, but then I did come over here and just slowly pry it up. And what you just saw is basically what happened. Um, it literally just like popped, and there was not a lot of pressure being put on it. So um, I proceeded to going ahead and pulling off the entire space bar because then it was loose and it literally just came off. So um, I have Apple Care on this device and um, I went ahead and logged on to apple.com, you know, got into a chat with Apple Care and uh, of course they were like zero help, uh, which is sad because Apple used to be very helpful when you would contact them. and. Uh, you know, even asked me if it could possibly be a software issue. And I'm like, dude, I can send you a picture through chat here of what's going on, but uh, I don't think software can make your keys pop off of your keyboard. Um, and, and so anyways, they told me I'm gonna need to go to the store, which sadly has become a nightmare experience for someone like me who is very, uh, you know, constrictive with time and all that stuff. Um, so anyways, I mean, you go to the Apple store nowadays, you have to wait 30 minutes just to have someone uh, check you in. And then once you get checked in, you have to wait 30 minutes or more sometimes for someone to even come ask you what your issue is. So then I would have to explain to them, I bought a $4,000 computer from you, the keyboard was stuck, the space bar, and so I pried up and it broke. And now when I go to press it back on, it won't stay down because on the bottom now I can see that these little white tab things are snapped off a little bit um, and it won't click back in so I, I don't know how you would even clean this besides just like blowing you know the air stuff in there to clean out crumbs and stuff because if you pry it up on it this is most likely going to happen to you as well um, so that's not really an option for me. Honestly, it would be, it would make more sense for me to literally throw this computer away and order a new one, uh, than to go in and spend hours in a Mac store to only be told it would, you know, take a week or something. So here's the catchy part though. So I'm telling this to the person through chat and she says, I can have someone contact you about express replacement, um, for your Mac. And I said, okay, yeah, I'd love to hear what express means to you guys because it's probably still going to take a week, but here's my phone number. Give me a call. So someone calls me and um, he's like some kind of senior, you know, replacement dude or whatever, um, has a very thick accent. So I don't think he was necessarily in America. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but he starts to talk about uh, everything leading up to, but not saying the word recall, which was really interesting to me. And so uh, I said, so is, are you telling me that the issue I'm experiencing is something that you're experiencing on a mass scale and that my computer is gonna be recalled or is recalled? And he's, he immediately backed up very quickly and said, no, 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 this is not a recall, but we are statistically 
gathering data on this issue. It's a known issue and um, we will probably report this issue with the numbers eventually. Basically, that's a recall in my opinion. Um, they just don't wanna say it because it's a big deal for Apple, I'm sure. Um, so anyways, uh, I thought it was interesting. So anyone else who's experiencing this issue uh, where this top right-hand side of your MacBook Pro is stuck down um, or just isn't bouncing up and down like it should when you're typing, uh, it's a known issue to Apple and um, you know, they, they possibly are going to do a recall on it or something similar. Um, but it, it really sucks because even with that, uh, he said, you know, we have to get approval from management or whatever, uh, to even schedule the capture of your product, meaning bringing back the, uh, defective product. Um, and then we would either repair it and send it back to you. And I'm like, dude, I can't have my computer gone for a week or even a couple of days. It's just, just doesn't work in my life. I would rather buy a new one from you. You send me that one. Then I send you this one. Once I receive that one and get it set up, I send you this one back and you give me a refund on that purchase or this original purchase. However, and he, he's like, I would have to get approval for that. And it's not currently an option, which is crazy. I mean, I'm willing to give them another $4,000 of my money to tie up while I wait on them to bring back a defective, possibly eventually recalled product um, that was $4,000 to give me a refund. So anyways, I'm super frustrated. Um, now I'm resorting back to using an old Bluetooth keyboard, um, which, I mean, you know, that's, that's not very... Apple-ish uh, or Mac-ish in my opinion. So anyways, I figured I'd at least post this video just to let anyone else know that's having this issue that I just spent probably a total of two hours on the phone and chat and all kinds of stuff trying to figure out what the heck's going on. And basically they know about this issue and they're gonna one day report on the numbers, which means, you know, it's pretty much a recall in my opinion. So anyways, hope this helps somebody.